Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we have the LG Revolution. This is LG's 4G smartphone. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. This is the box, it's just a black box. On the side it says Revolution here, I don't know if you can see that. But basically it has the phone, a battery, pre-installed SD card, and some brochures and USB, that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and open this up. It does come with a 4G SIM card since it's a 4G device, or Verizon's LTE device. There we go. Bright red box here. And here's the phone itself. Let's set this aside, take a look at what's in the box, and then talk about the phone in a moment. So here is the familiar Verizon Master Your Device literature. We have a wall adapter, and in the bottom is a USB plug. We have our USB or micro USB to USB cable and a battery. So that's about it. Let's go ahead and Put this in here, set it aside, and go ahead and take a look at the phone. So the phone itself, like I said, is a 4G device. It has a 4.3 inch 480 by 800 pixel display that's capacitive touch, which is nice. The back of it has a 5 megapixel camera that records HD video. On the side, we do have an HDMI port under there. And on this side, we have our USB, our micro USB port under little flaps. These chrome accents are kinda nice, but I don't know about these these uh, little flaps. I hope they're reliable over time. And sleep wake 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. This is a single core Snapdragon processor. Pop this off. We have a six, or we should have a 16 gig card in here. And sure enough, it's a 16 gig card that comes with it. And then we have our SIM card slot. So let's let's first go ahead and take the battery out. Now this battery is supposed to be a 1500 milliamp hour battery. Uh, the actual talk time I'm not sure of yet. Yeah, and yes, it's a 1500 milliamp hour battery. I should probably put the SIM card in first. Let's go ahead and do that. Now the phone runs Froyo 2.2. Like I said, it's a single core. Some people thought it was a dual core I saw online, that sort of thing, but it's definitely a single core processor. Depends where you look, I guess. And uh, is basically feels already like the size of, I guess the Thunderbolt would be a good comparison in size. Let's go ahead and pop this out here. Okay, so we have our SIM card. Let's get this in here like this. We pop the battery in. And there we go. Let's go ahead and power this on. Now we do have a screen protector over the top. So this does have a forward-facing camera as well. It's a 1.3 megapixel forward-facing camera. It also has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, BGNN. Um, has tethering if you pay for the extra. Just about any device nowadays that comes out on Verizon has that option. Wait for it to power on here. It's the first time I'm turning it on, so... It also has GPS, like my, most other phones as well. Let's wait for it to come on. And there we go. That's pretty much it so far. Uh, let's wait for it to boot up, and we'll take a little bit more in-depth look at it later. Looks like we have a cover right here too. Yeah, little covers so that the chrome doesn't get scratched on the side. You can see your volume up down rocker on that side also. Looks a little bit different. Next, it's going to wait for activation. So I'm going to set all this up and uh, we'll take a further look into the UI on another video. But I'll check this out and we'll check that out a little bit later. Thanks for watching. Now, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. More wrappers on the side here. Uh, but again, feel free to ask any questions, anything you want to know about the phone. I'll try and answer, maybe do some comparisons, that sort of thing. And uh, check back later for the review. This is Aaron. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.